Hi everyone, it's Shelly Zurich from Still Blonde After All These Years. And we're here for Specialty Food Sunday. You know, at Still Blonde After All These Years, we've been trying to do Specialty Food Sunday. Sometimes they haven't been on Sunday, but we've been trying to uh, get that done. Uh, Walt and I have been renovating a condo for the last month or so, and so um, my time has kind of been taken away with that. And I'm tr really trying to get back in and finish up a lot of the specialty food that was sent to us during the specialty food show. First of all, we're going to remind you that all our links will always be listed down below. So once this video goes live and I have a little bit of time to throw the links in there, you can find, always find all the products. Okay, let's get started. We're first of all going to start out with these great crackers from Mary's Gone Crackers. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around to show you exactly what the packaging looks like. It's from their new Super Seed line, and they're organic, gluten-free, whole grain, and vegan. And wow, you guys, these crackers are amazing. I cannot say enough about them. I try to avoid crackers because they are so high in calories for the bang you get, but these are really a special snack. They sent us along five different flavors of these great new Mary's Gone Crackers Super Seeds and they are amazing because of these reasons. Now watch this. Oh, I have blue cards just like the big fancy uh, tacos. So I want you to be impressed by that. But anyway, these particular crackers are non-GMO. They're organic. They're gluten-free. They're U.S. made. They're whole grain and they're vegan. So celiac alert, this is for you. They're also kosher and they're made in a peanut and nut free plant. So an amazing cracker. And let me just read you the ingredients and this will be, you can understand why I like these crackers. They're whole grain brown rice, whole grain quinoa, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, brown, brown flax seeds, brown sesame seeds, filtered water, sea salt, garlic powder, dried basil, dried parsley. Did you notice I didn't have any trouble saying any of the words? Did you notice that you didn't have any trouble understanding any of the words? That's because this is food. It's not some chemical. It's just food in a great package, and it really tastes good. So I'm not trying to be an ad for them. I'm seriously in love with these Miri's. Gone Crackers Super Seed Crackers, and I, I really recommend them to you. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, we're going to take a look at this great Dave's Killer Bread, and it's uh, called Good Seed. I'm also going to talk to you about the Brown Berry 17 Grain and Seeded Bread, because I'm on the quest for a really good seeded bread. But it's not easy to find one, as you can imagine. I found this and fell in love with it, the Dave's Good Seed Bread. Actually, it has a kind of a, a funny story behind it. It's called Dave's Killer Bread. Dave was in prison for 15 years. And when Dave got out of prison, his brother ran a family bakery. And he said he felt that Dave had really turned his life around. And he said, hey, Dave, why don't you come to work for me? So Dave came there, and he created... His mission was to create the best seeded bread out there, thus he called it Dave's Killer Bread. It really is the best seeded bread that I've ever tasted that's not homemade. It tastes wonderful with jam on it, it tastes wonderful with butter or with honey, and the reason why it has a lot of uh, nooks and crannies to go down into. Well, I was really disappointed when it was discontinued from Sam's, but I just found it again at my local Kroger. Now, I also tried this brown berry, as I said, uh, extra grainy with 17 grains and seeds. I did not care for that at all. I am a brown berry fan from way back, and some of their products I truly do love, but this particular one did not live up to the Dave's Killer Bread in terms of taste and just that moistness that I, I really like in a seeded bread. Now we're going to go on to some pretzels, something sweet for you out there. This one is called Nature's Garden. We'll take a look at that package. Nature's Garden Raspberry Yogurt Pretzels. Now you're going to say, wow, those look really pink. Well, they are really pink. They are colored with beet juice. Uh, so, oh no, I'm sorry, red cabbage juice. 
So you will uh, appreciate that there isn't any artificial colorings in there. Make it so that it's not natural. I don't necessarily just talk about natural foods, but I find that most specialty foods are uh, natural or organic or have some special hook. These are 190 calories for nine pretzels, but truly they are, are, are kind of large. I think I might even have left a couple in here, but maybe not. I may, might have eaten them all. No, I ate them all. Uh, but um, they are plenty sweet enough that you don't need to eat nine. If you just are one of those kind of people who after you have your dinner, you like just a little sweet, well, this these are perfect. Uh, they're that wonderful combination of salty and sweet that we all like, and so... I would recommend these. Now, I picked these up at the show, at the Fancy Food Show in New York City, so I don't have a lot of detail on it, but I'll try to list their link down below if you're interested. Okay, great. Now we're going to move on to a jam. I believe I picked this up at the show. I cannot find any information that they sent it to me, but it is unbelievable. Let me flip it around so you can look at the packaging. It's a Vermont crafted raspberry smoked maple. And you can see in the background here, it's from Pot Liquor. Pot Liquor Kitchens. You'll notice there's nothing left in here and with good reason. I just love this. I didn't share it with Walt. Anything that I really like, Walt doesn't always get to, to have anything more than a taste. Because I want to make sure I really, really like it. <laughs> they also sent along a Cabernet Cracked Pepper, and they actually have a full line of artisan jellies and wine jellies and, you know, just, just different flavors. They're all unique. They're $8 for this size, or you can get a case of 12 of different varieties for $78. I, that's the prices I checked on Amazon. They might even be cheaper on their site. I This is probably my favorite uh, jam that I've ever had in my whole life raspberry smoked maple the, that flavor you know possibly their whole line is that good but this as I said probably my favorite that I've ever had grandma please forgive me my grandma made strawberry jam freezer jam and it was to die for this was better don't tell her don't tell her okay so moving on we are now going to talk about hacks Hacks is a product line from Chef Sharon Hackman. And he's a celebrity chef, and he's been on many of the favorite cooking shows. As you've probably seen, he's pretty easy on the eye, so you might remember him. But they sent us along their Hacks One Pot Cooking Sauce, which apparently they're quite famous for. So I'm going to... I'm going to show you that picture. Hacks One Pot Cooking Sauce. And what's neat about that is you can take and add that to a pound of beef, chicken, shrimp, fish, pork, or veggies. It's non-GMO, has no preservatives, it's made in small batches, and it's supposed to serve four. And that's my only complaint, is when you do add that, it, it does not serve four. It's just not enough. Uh, on the back of each package, there is a how to make it the simple way, and then also a recipe. I like that a lot. I liked the combinations that they suggested, but I just felt that they needed to put more sauce in the package. In terms of the Hacks One Pot, there are a lot of different varieties that you should know about. There's Korean barbecue, chipotle bourbon, Thai green curry, rustic ratatouille, which I tried with vegetables, which was very good, a Cajun jambalaya, which I tried with chicken, and a Caribbean jerk. Now, I tried each of these with um, the recipe on the back, except for the uh, rustic ratatouille, which I tried just with the simple directions. And the recipes that they give on the back are very good, and so is just the simple directions where you mix it with the chicken, shrimp, pork, fish, or veggies. However, as I said, I don't feel they had enough sauce in the packet, and that would be my one criticism that they could do to improve. Now, the other thing that we were sent were the Hacks Super Ultra Premium Salad Dressing. I have to rave about these. They are very good. I'm going to show you the packaging. Okay, so there's the olive and lemon and also the balsamic. There's miso, Greek, spicy Thai, and then finally there is country Italian. 
I uh, really liked these a lot. I thought they were very unique. Uh, they're $3.99 for a package, and the neat thing is that they come in individual packages like this inside of here. So each package contains six of these. They're 100 calories each. You can take them with you on a picnic. Um, they're just a generous amount in there, in my opinion. There's enough for everyone, and I recommend that you buy these, especially for a vacation or if you take your lunch a lot and don't really have anywhere to store the dressing because these do not have to be in the refrigerator. Love that. Okay, we have our last item, which is Jack's Gourmet. We were sent just about their full line of different uh, products. They said that the thing that's unique is all their products are made from beef, and they make sausages and deli meat. They make a wonderful thing called Facon, which is a substitute for bacon. They have briskets. So it's just really a great line. I tried the brisket, loved it. I'm not a spicy person, and a lot of their meats are spicy. We made a couple of spicy things at a family gathering. They're, you know, sausage sort of uh, spiced things, and the people who do like spicy meat love those. I tried the beef kielbasa and the cured bratwurst, and that was wonderful. So just so you know what Jack's packaging lo looks like when you go to the store, there is the beef kielbasa. And it's gone, so <laughs> you might appreciate the fact that they have no fillers, no byproducts, no artificial flavors. They're all pork and no, no, I'm sorry, they're all beef and no pork, which is important to a lot of people, especially um, during the Jewish holidays. Here's a couple more of the different packages, just so you know what to watch for. There's Jack's First Cut Pastrami. Their brisket. Yes, there we go. And finally, Jack's Gourmet Bacon, which I can't wait to try. It's hilarious. I can't believe I haven't tried it yet, but um, we had a lot of other things from the Jack's line. As I said, uh, they do have a lot of spicy items. I feel like that there's a lot of people out there who like spicy meats, and so that'll be perfect for them, but they had a lot of good things for me. So I'd highly recommend Jack's Gourmet. This is Shelly Zurich from Still Blonde After All These Years. I still want you to be impressed that I have these cool uh, cards like the big celebrities. So if you enjoyed watching our show today, make sure if you're watching on YouTube, you give us a thumbs up and you comment down below. We'd sure appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. That helps uh, more companies send us more products then we can bring them to you and let you know how they are. So thank you, and we'll see you in our next video.